The Biden-Trump presidential debate is on. After hedging on it for months, the U.S. president has said he's ready for the verbal duel. Trump says he's ready and willing anytime, any place, as he continues jibes at Biden over cognitive health issues. Though Trump had declined, declined in fact, to face off against his primary opponents in any debate during the 2024 cycle, he has indicated his eagerness to debate Biden. Taking to his social media platform, Truth Social, he wrote, he would debate with Biden anytime, anywhere, any place. Former President Donald Trump again said he is ready for the contest. As he left the courthouse post his hearing in Manhattan on Friday. I just want to say that I've invited Biden to debate. He can do it anytime he wants, including tonight. But he said today that, oh, I'd love to debate, but he won't debate. I don't think he'll debate. Maybe he will. Maybe he will. I'm not sure he has a choice. But that's the story. So here we are. We're ready, willing, and able. And we don't see him, and I don't think he'll be here. The sitting U.S. President Joe Biden's campaign has in the past repeatedly declined to commit to participating in a debate with former President Donald Trump. Trump's campaign attacked Biden's cognitive health decline, saying that it is the reason that the sitting president was shying away from facing him. On one occasion, Trump even purported that his opponent had dementia. Biden's age-related issues and his efforts to conceal them have made him the butt of ridicule. Reports say Joe Biden uses a team of walkers around him to disguise his shuffling gait from photographers. The 81-year-old president has begun walking across the White House lawn, surrounded by a group of aides when boarding his helicopter, Marine One. Contrary to the claims, the sitting U.S. president has been at the center of controversy due to strings of gaffes and memory lapses. Biden recently told two campaign audiences that his uncle, who was shot down during the World War II, might have been eaten by cannibals in Papua New Guinea, raising eyebrows about the claims. There's also been scrutiny of other recent events when the Biden mixed up names, when in fact Biden mixed up names of foreign leaders. A recent public poll conducted by Ipsos Knowledge Panel said that as many as 86% of Americans think Biden is too old to serve another term as president. Concerns about both candidates' ages have increased since September when an ABC poll found that 74% of Americans thought Biden, who is the oldest commander-in-chief in the U.S. history, was too old to serve another term as president. 49% had said the same about Trump. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.